Last call and last chance for your personal reading. For one question, no contact. How does this person feel towards you? It is in the description box below. It is first come, first serve. And right now, the current wait is going to be minimum seven days. And this is the last chance because I will close it for the part of this year because we're in the six months already and I open it random so you can book it now and read before you purchase. It is a short quick reading that goes directly sent to you via YouTube. It is not a live reading, it is a recorded video. Go there in the description box. Okay, so finances is a focus. Giving up on this person or they have tried to give up, you feel stuck, but you still have these feelings that you guys can move from this. Um, hmm. I'm seeing someone who's very, not scared, well, terrified of like what will happen to their life if they're unable to make a decision right now. So it feels like you have um, either put your person into a microscope and you're just like, I'm just looking at the little things that you're doing, a uh, little thing, not, <laughs> no pun intended, but I'm talking about like, they feel that you are pressuring them and that they have no choice. Okay, Libra, we're gonna go to your side over here and your person's side, okay? Okay, so we're gonna see that. Um, we're gonna look into the situation, okay? Um, we're gonna do your um, oracle. I have your sidereal chart over here for the transit. Uh, we'll discuss the astrology. Remember, I do Vedic sidereal, not Western. So don't try to change the planet. You're doing Western. I'm doing sidereal. Okay, here we go. Now, Libra, it's more of like your concern is this. Okay. Um, when you focus on the coin, it's a, it's a pentacle, right? So it's money. Okay, in your chart, you know, the one that rules your finances is Mars, okay, second house, um, savings, 11th house is also your earnings, which is, the ruler of that is the sun. So when you're focusing on this money, um, I'm seeing here with the ace of coins, it's more of like you're having issues saving right now because Mars is debilitated in cancer, it's 16 degrees, so it takes time. Um, I'm seeing here where the sun right now is also in the 8th house. So you're paying off things. Um, this also, you may be getting some sort of tax. Um, I forgot what you call that. Uh, refund or be careful with your taxes also. So that may be a focus for you. I'm seeing here um, can be like, a, how do you call this? Like alimony or a money from your ancestors. I forgot what it's called when someone is giving you money. Um, you know, from your ancestors. I forgot what it's called. Okay, because it, it's the sun right now is in your eighth house. Mercury is there. Business-wise, it can also give you that earning because that's the most focus. Eighth house is the earnings um, coming from the seventh. So you may be more into the money-making really right now. That is where your mind is set. Business partnership, gains is going to be such a big focus for you. Okay? Because um, you're having a hard time saving. So right now, it's just like, well, I'm going to hustle. That's what I do best. You know, I'm going to balance this, I don't know, this ledger, this checkbook, Ace of Pentacles. So that's one thing that you're doing. Now, okay, Knight of Cups over here with the, eight of, with the Ten of Wands. Your person feels defeated because you're not focusing on them. So something about you right now, Libra, is more about like, well, I need my financial security. <laughs> you know, um, but what about me? This is what your person is saying. Knight of Cups with the Ten of Wands. Okay. Mm. Your person feels defeated. Like, I'm trying, but you're not responding. I'm giving in, but you're not connecting. That's how your person feels right now. Okay. Now, you're stuck right now. It's not like I have the liberty, Sal. You're tied also to your person. We have Rahu and Jupiter in the seventh. Um... With the hangman, you're tied to the situation and you have thought of like compromising, so giving in. You're really trying to say here that, okay, well, let me try at least, you know, let me focus on this. You have the palace of cups and the palace of coins, 
All right. Now, the Palace of Cups and the Palace of Coins, this is about security emotionally and financially for the future. Your person's concern is that. Where do we stand here? Where do you see us moving forward? Because you are in the hangman position. You also feel betrayed. The hangman is a traitor. So either you betrayed yourself or they betrayed you. The traditional tarot. But it's about also looking at the outside perspective. What do I do get what do I get out of this relationship really? You know, the hangman is there. If I compromise, if I give in. You have a lot of dreams. I believe that's a symbol of Neptune also. I don't do outer planets, but I just saw that. Okay. Um because you have you have dreams of making big. I like that. Um, the devil with the four of coins, I'm seeing here your person is either scared to lose you because financially you provide for them. Failed relationship, failed business, failed basically in everything three years ago. Then I work with, um, with Moldivite, founded in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And my life has forever changed. It speeds up the process of, well, my transformation. I was going, you know, I was, it was in a dark place and I just needed some uh, inspiration, something that can boost my life. It has helped me. And I hope it does the same for you. Um, they're all opening up to you, but not so much because they have a feeling of resentment. The devil is addiction. So they may be, um, you know, using you for finances. Um, addicted to, um, how to say it? this is codependency. The Four of Coins is a card of like a miser or they not like a, they don't share, they take more. Does it make sense? So they're a taker and you're the giver. Okay, but with the hangman, it's like, okay, um, I don't think I can do this anymore. The devil is scared. It's more fear than anything. That's how we see with the devil because they are, they have some sort of insecurity. They're insecure right now, Two of Swords with the Four of Wands because the relationship is in question. The security of the relationship is not there. Your person isn't uh, feeling that. Like the doors are opening for you because you're stepping out. But you are tied to them. I don't know, maybe you're married with the Four of Wands or long-term partnership. Now they are waiting for you to decide. Two of Wands with the Seven of Coins. This is a waning basket. This can be a Sag. This is filtering. Okay. I'm not going to go to the Nakshatra. But this is about filtering. Okay. I'm um, just Venus ruled Nakshatra in Sag. Okay, I forgot what, which one is the nakshatra for that one, the waning basket. So they know that you are filtering. They know that you, everything that they do is being judged right now. And they don't understand or they don't know how to process this because like, this is the first time that you're really looking into it. So you're smarter, you're more, um, how to say this? Like you just want to look deeper and deeper. Before you probably just say, yeah, whatever. You know. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. Your oracle. Now, for people who are, yes, it's here. Oh, and it's just a big crow. Wow, I love it. Um, this, uh, no, behind me. Behind you guys, sorry. Um, Moldivite is available. I only have few. And it's uh, you can have it with real gold chain. This is, um, you know, this has helped me. And, you know, I got so many things in my life that has gone through. And it has always, like, helped me move forward. Um, we have rings also for it, for people who doesn't like necklace and bracelet. You can check it out. It's very rare. Okay, I have few only, okay? And first time that it is available in gold because everybody, uh, you know, asking for that. Um, Libra, okay, with the, what is The geese, the swan over here. You're just going through the motion over here. You're not really um, paying attention or focusing on the relationship. I don't think so. Your person can't be wrong. This is a big problem. So they are a person who's like punctuous, is that what it's called? They're a person who's like, well, what I do is what is right. You know, I can't be, you know, like I'm not to be blamed here. So which means like they always just look at their, at their own interests. Now this card can be a narcissistic behavior because it's more about like what they get from you energetically because the devil can be an energy vampire also. So we have to look into that. Now I'm gonna use this for your next 30 days. Um, we have K2 in the, seventh, in the first house, right? So um, there's a lot of spiritual awakening that you may be going through. If it's the first house, a lot of physical transformation is what is going on until uh, coming October. Next 30 days. Rahu in the seventh is a desire. Wherever Rahu is, we will obsess. And that's the devil. So either you're obsessed or they're obsessed about this connection. You want it, they want it. So it's an on and off kind of thing. Jupiter in the seventh, it is good um, in the... Seventh, the expansion of, you know, the partnership. So your person wants something more now. Okay. 
It's going to be there until next year. Next 30 days, best course of action. This is what you and your person needs to do. Okay. Is your foreseeable future? What will happen between the two of you? Let's continue. Okay, here. Now, oh, someone, some of you guys here are going to get some tattoo. Okay. Now, your person wants to buy a home. Also, there's a Virgo over here. I'm seeing. There's a Leo. Okay. Um, you are right now restraining yourself. Seven of Wands. From any kind of interaction or suggestion from your person. You took time out. Um, but you still love them. So this is the part where it's on and off. Because you do feel like it's a soulmate. You have the sun symbol over there. Um, this is a sun in, I believe, Scorpio. And then you have a Leo over here. Okay, you have Venus in Leo. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm seeing that you're, you and your person has gone, like, far. This connection is deep. This, connect, this connection is not, like, oh, just this present life. It's a past life connection. Um, with the Eight of Swords here, feel trapped. Your person, Nine of Swords is stress. The High Priestess. They can't speak to you. I don't know why. If you block them, then that's the, re that's the reason. So they haven't, uh, they don't know what to do because you block them. High Priestess, you know, with the Nine of Swords, um, with the Eight of Swords, they feel so suffocated right now, running out of option. So this is like a person who's a fight or flight, a panic. Your person is having panic, panic mode, not panic attack. Hopefully we don't want that for anyone, right? But they cannot process this. They are right now thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. Okay, it can be a Libra also. Let's see. So High Priestess, now your person has this inner desire, okay, that can affect how you feel. And right now, how you feel is like, I'm not, I don't want this. I don't want to connect with it anymore. I've had enough. But you've always find yourself being connected with them. Because I feel like the high priestess with the far path, your person is manifesting you. Okay? That's a high priestess. Let's see their inner desire. The four of wands over here is the relationship. So let's see what that is also. Now, there is an extended reading to this. It's in the description box below. We're still going to get your card of focus. Everything is down there. Okay. Six of Cups is reconciliation and being back. Let's see. If it's an on and off, then are you guys on again? With the Six of Cups. Should you, Ace of Pentacles, reach out, give this an opportunity, clear the air. Meaning, all right, let me text, let me call, or let's see where it goes. Try to weigh the situation, work things out, maybe. Ace of Pentacles, I have the ability. Meaning you. Okay. Card of focus right here. Okay. Now, the Moldavite is only available um, limited time because it's limited stock. You can check it. It's down there. Or you can go to our website at eatreadlove.me. Okay. Card of focus. Ooh. Temperance is actually to reconcile. Your focus is to meet your person, actually. This is a very optimistic card. You're focusing on the good things, not on the bad things. So you're more on the forgive. You're looking forward to forgive them. Provided that they basically come towards you also. Well, we'll see if that happens. Link in the description box below where I dive deeper for the extended reading. I'll see you there.